Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to read my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please remember to call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI, 800-950-6264. You can also text NAMI at 741741. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So today I just wanted to talk about um, when you are in a relationship. And today I'm going to be talking directly to women. So... Um, this is just my personal take on how a relationship should be handled and your role in the relationship as a woman. So um, what got me on this was I was listening to some music and um, a song came up. This old song is called Woman to Woman by Shirley Brown. And in the song, she's talking about um, she's calling the other woman and she's uh, talking about how she's the reason that this man is everything that he is uh, in the sense of she's providing for him she's paying all the bills and all of those things and I don't have a problem with uh, paying the bills if in the relationship you make more of the money and you can take care of all the financial responsibilities then so be it and uh, more power to it but also at the same time, um, you don't want to diminish the relationship. You don't want to diminish the person that you're in a relationship with. You don't want to be the one to um, always throw up what you can do for this relationship because it's uh, going against the grain of how a relationship should work. Um, and so I just wrote a few things down. Uh, in a traditional marriage, and I'm somewhat of a traditional person, I believe that um, the man should be the head of the household. And I believe that the wife should be the one to support him and make sure that whatever he's saying is something that's not outlandish or foolish. And it's something that you all can both agree on. So, um, you don't want to be in a relationship um, talking about how you bought this man this and you take care of all this and <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me and you're the one to pay all the bills and you know if that's the case and that's the dynamics of the relationship that's something you should keep to yourself uh, most men are proud most men want to be the one that takes care of everything um, so you don't want to go out flaunting that to the world that you're the one that's doing everything. It's you know it's one thing that if you come into a lot of money and you can make your marriage or your relationship so much better because you're on that level, then that's understandable. But I'm talking about traditional working class people. Um, I'm not saying as a woman you should be in a relationship and be helpless because I don't believe in that. I believe you should pull your own weight, but I don't think you should be to the point uh, in a relationship where you can't see where the man is in this relationship with you. You know, um, you can't see where he starts and where you end. It's just all about what you can do. So, um, like I said, I did write thing, down a few things. I wrote down, uh, you know, knowing your place in a relationship and what's the place of a man. So, um, the first thing is support. Not just financially support, but emotional support. That's a man's role in um, my opinion. You know, he should be able to support you in your goals and... Um, make sure that he can take on a family you know because when once you get married most more than likely you're going to have children so he needs to plan for the future and you also need to know that this man is someone that you can count on and then um you know be able to make decisions that he's not uh frivolous in his thinking and in his spinning and he's looking out for the future and he's planning for you all's future 
and then also uh, a protector. Um, and that's someone that's going to not just protect you as his um, other half, but being able to protect the family, protect the finances, protect, protect the things that you need um, just to go on day to day. And then also a great communicator, you know, someone that you can talk to and bounce things off of and um, get a decent opinion. And so the, to me, that's some of the things uh, that a man, that's the role of a, a man's position. And then for a woman, um, I also wrote down the same thing. She should also be able to support um, wise decisions and uh, support him emotionally and financially she shouldn't always um, be there taken from the relationship and not taking the money and making it uh, grow a woman should be able to grow whatever money that a man gives her so that's the support as it comes to financial and i'm not saying that um she should be at home and not working you know if it's set up that way to where he can go out and make a decent income and she can stay at home and take care of the home then so be it but um i believe a woman should be able to should be in a relationship and she should be able to pull uh, her own weight you know um not that she's saying i don't need a man but know your place you know there's a, a soft balance in a relationship um with a man and a woman it should be a partnership and then also um any decisions that's made, it shouldn't be just solely on his head. Um, I think that a woman should be able to put her input in the decision making. And uh, it should be something they both agree on. Because at the end of the day, you're looking at this relationship for the both of you all, not just for the one person. And like I said, if you're looking for a family, you want to make sure that you're with this person that uh, knows how to bring in money. And as for the man, you don't want to be in a relationship where every time you bring in end money, she's taking the woman is taking the money and spending it on frivolous things. So um, that's important when you're uh, in a relationship, you know, decision making. And then um, as a protector, the woman role to me is to be in a relationship. Um, protect your relationship don't go out telling everybody about what's going on in your household you know protect it uh, talk about um, things that you don't like with your partner you know it's not for everybody else's ears to hear what's going on in the household because once you bring unhealthy outside um, people into the relationship nine times out of ten it destroys the relationship and i'm speaking from experience uh the last relationship that i was in um my husband was always bringing in well not always but he brought in people who are not a part of the relationship uh, even the uh, going through the divorce the judge said that uh, he could see that there was a third party in the relationship and he was going to talk about that. So whenever you bring this third party that's not healthy for the relationship, nine times out of 10, it's going to end it. So as a woman, protect your relationship, protect your family. And then also um, be a communicator to your, to your husband. Don't sit back with your mouth closed, you know, speak up, let him know that you're present because the relationship is not just guided by one person and you're being the follower even though he's the head of the household you still have your role you have um you can't just sit back and um just ride the relationship for the benefits of it you know it takes two to make this work and like i said i'm speaking from the traditional sense and i'm speaking um for a soulmate type of relationship because I look at marriage as a contract you know most of us should because you're signing up to do something with another person and you should be working in uh, in uniform you know this should be something that you do together it shouldn't be he's out there doing his own thing and you're out there doing your own thing you should come together to try to have a positive relationship 
you know and like i said the other day you'll know if this relationship is what it should be you'll see the toxic i'm sorry toxicity in the relationship and you'll be able to understand if um this person is in this relationship um, and he can recognize seeing you in the relationship. He's not just there to dictate and tell you what you should and shouldn't do. And um, it's very important to know your place in a relationship. So I hope this is helping someone. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you again. Thank you for watching.